Hi ladies. So today we are on lesson 19. So remember Zern, when we're done with this, you can go on Zern and practice on lesson 19, module six. So your learning target is I can investigate the pattern on even numbers, zero, two, four, six, eight in the ones place and relate to odd numbers. So I drew two rows of one and I already drew it, but I do want to point out that when you are drawing two rows of one, that you're making it so your boxes are pretty even. You're trying your best making neat rows or columns, whatever you're doing. So I have my two rows. Here's one row, here's two rows, and there's only one in each of them. So now I'm going to write my um, addition sentence. So I have one plus one, which is going to equal two. And then you're going to ask yourself, remember we're talking about those even and odd numbers still. So you're going to ask yourself, is two even or is it odd? Well, we know that we can break these two up into, right, if we split it just like we did last time with our pencil like last week. If we split it down the middle, this could be one group. This could be another on the bottom. So that is going to be even. Okay, if you look at your learning target, pull it back out again. I'll hold it. It says the pattern even numbers 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So and of course I forgot my zero. I was running out of room. So we're gonna we know that zero comes before one. So zero, two, four, six, eight. And then you're gonna say, Miss Hildebrand, what do I do next? Well, you're gonna do the same thing. You're looking at the ones place. Always. Always look at the ones place, and that's gonna tell you. Is the number even or odd? Now, you go to zero. You're looking at the ones place. This number is 13. I know they're squished because I didn't have much room. Is 13 even or odd? No, nope. remember your two, four, six, eight, and that zero that we had to fit in there. Four, six, eight, and zero. So, this is something that you could practice at home. Okay. Ask yourself, oh, that number has a two in the ones place. That number is even. Oh, that number has an eight in the ones place. That number is even. Oh, that number is 11 and it has a one in the ones place. That number is odd. Quiz yourself, practice. And actually, that's what we're going to do right now. So remember, your even numbers are your numbers that can be split up evenly into two equal groups. So we have two, zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So if I do this, you can see it better. And I'm gonna draw the zero again. That's why I erased it. I just want you to be able to see it. Now, our odd numbers are also important, but I want you to be able to see this pattern that's happening. And then, of course, the zero is right here. So, zero, two, C. Well, this is a two, it's in the one place. Oh, this is also a two, it's in the one place. That's something very important you need to pay attention to. Always look at your ones place. So, here we go. I'm going to erase this and we're actually going to um, use the flashcards again because, not the flashcards, I'm sorry, the um, playing cards again, the deck of cards. So, get ready. And we're going to practice even and odd numbers right now. Okay, so I'm back. And here we go. So, your first number is. Four. And actually, this could really help you. You might have these at home that you could practice with. So you have a four, and you have to ask yourself, can you split those up into two equal groups? Well, 
think about it, if you use, just like we've been using our pencil when we do it, if I split it right here, or like this, does each group have the same amount? Yeah, right, so this number is even. So I'm not sure if you know, but this is an ace, and an ace is going to be worth one with the game that we're playing. So is one going to be an even or an odd number? You only have one. Just this one. Oh my goodness. The picture is messing me up. Just the one in the middle. So is this going to be even or odd? There's only one. You can't split that apart. So it's going to be odd. And try to beat me at this, right? I'm kind of taking my time to explain it. But try to go quicker than me and see if you can beat me. Kind of make it a game, right? We're in a little competition, a little friendly competition. It's good for us. So you're looking at, oh, again with the camera. You're looking at the eight. And we're going to see. Can you split it up into two equal groups? So it's going to be a little hard with the pencil because of how they're done. But if you go like this, you actually can. And it would be four and four because we know that doubles, four plus four equals eight. So this is even. Really quick, you should be thinking about your learning target as well because that's going to help you. And I know you know that two is even you can split it up. We've been working on that one a lot. Okay, so your zero, your two, your four, your six, and your eight. So this number should come very simple because can you split seven up equally into two groups? No, is it a zero, a two, a four, a six, or an eight? So it is odd. Three, you should be thinking right away. Is it a zero, a two, a four, a six, or an eight? Right away, you should be saying, no, Miss Hildebrand, this is odd. So this one's a little different because this is a king. So if you are using these at home, I do want to say, we're going to say the king is worth 10. So king, 10, or if you see the K, that's a king. So that's worth 10. So is 10 going to be even or odd? And this one's a really good one, actually, because, and I'm just going to draw it up here just so you remember. We have kings, jacks, and queens. They're all going to be worth 10. And the ace is going to be one. So now you have to ask yourself, because this is different. And remember, we're always looking in the ones place. Okay. So if you're looking in the ones place, and remember we have a king, that's a zero. Your learning target says even number, zero, two, four, six, eight. So 10 is a even number. You can break it up. Five and five is going to give you 10. Here's another example of, these are face cards because they have little faces on them. And I wrote it up here. So this is a jack, has a J on it. <laughs> and it's also worth 10 in our game that we're playing. So you're going to ask yourself, okay, 10, 10 has a zero in the ones place. You can also, just for that visual, one, 10, zero, one. This is the ones place. Ooh, move that over so you can see it. My computer is uneven. You're looking at your zero, asking yourself again, zero, two, four, six, eight. Your 10 is going to be, or your jack is going to be even. Let's see if I can trick you. Um, I think we did that one. What about this one? So this is a nine. Ask yourself, nine is in, or nine is um even or odd right zero two four six eight those are the numbers you should be constantly thinking in your head and that's why i keep repeating them no so right away you know that this is odd okay we are gonna do two more and then i want you to practice and if you don't have playing cards all you have to do is pick numbers 
pick random numbers. Tell your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, anybody who's homie, auntie. Tell them to, okay, give me a number. Number is eight. Tell me, even or odd. And try to practice it. <laughs> I'm trying to look for my favorite number, but I can't find it. Here it is. Even, very nice. I know you're going quick. Even, very nice. Oh, I hope you didn't get tricked. This is even. And we will leave off with the queen. Queen, Q for queen, 10. That's going to be, ends in a zero in the one place, which is even. So, practice, practice, practice. If you're not sure, again, break it up. Can you put them into those two equal groups, okay? Make sure you're practicing. It's okay if you don't have cards, just use numbers. I will see you tomorrow.